Hi, my name is Lisa Anderson, president of LMA Consulting Group and host of Supply Chain Chats. Here to talk to you today about the state of business, manufacturing, supply chain, what does it all mean? And most importantly, how can you take advantage of the opportunities coming our way? So where do we stand? Gross domestic product, which is a measure of the state of the economy, was sluggish, 1.1%. Inflation, on the other hand, is continues to be robust at 5.3%, which is more than double the goal which means the cost of materials, components, ingredients are all skyrocketing, which every client knows because 2020, they've increased between 20% and 200%, which is very tricky because how do you increase prices to that degree or offset margin hits? In addition, the Fed has been increasing interest rates from near zero to five to 5.25% for the benchmark rate, which means the cost of capital has gone up. It costs more to purchase equipment or to finance equipment, to finance inventory, et cetera. That's really problematic for companies. Uh, the reason they're doing that is they want to increase the unemployment rates, which they think will help them curb inflation. So far, it has not been working. Inflation has, you know, still remained robust. And actually, the unemployment rates actually went down slightly to 3.4% recently. That is no surprise to clients because they've been having trouble finding people. High-skilled people have been in great demand. So what do we do about it all? The most successful clients are being resilient. They are looking at how do I reshore production, nearshore production, set up a regional supply chain, find a new partner, innovate with those partners, expand production. They're looking, basically they're taking control of their supply chain. They're also being flexible. They're saying, how do I supply my customer orders? Their backlogs have been pretty robust and they stayed pretty robust. So how do I do that? Well, actually maintaining my costs, decreasing costs and um, decreasing my inventory levels, but not in a way that where you're going to end up with customer service issues later. So how do I right size it uh, instead or increase capacity where you need it to be so you can reduce inventory? So the smart ones are doing that. And they're doing that through programs like SIOP, Sales Inventory Operations Planning, which is where you get a better view of what's to come. What are our sales forecasts and our demand plan? They're looking at a directional view. They're looking at which customers should I really supply? Customer profitability. Which products should I really be selling? Product rationalization, product profitability. And they're saying, okay, so if that's my demand plan. Those are my ideal customers then how do I fulfill that plan in the way that's most profitable and will allow for the least amount of inventory to be tied up unnecessarily? And they're looking at make versus buy decisions. Should I offload temporarily? Should I hire people? There's a multitude of strategies and they're looking at all of them and they're saying, okay, this is the best way for me to set up my supply chain. This is the best way for me to produce. And this is the best way for me to make sure that I'm profitable, but yet resilient to take advantage of the opportunities. And they're doing that in a way that utilizes technology. So they're looking at utilizing modern ERP systems that incorporate the latest artificial intelligence features, looking at predictive analytics and digital twins. So the modern ERP systems, but they're also looking at automation. How do I make sure that I automate repetitive tasks? Looking at robotics. How do I make sure that I can supply product and increase output, but with less cost? So they're looking at smart strategies and they're innovating and they're utilizing technology. They're being resilient. They're being flexible. They're utilizing programs like PSYOP. And from a PSYOP point of view, if you want to learn more, look at our recently released book at LMA-Consulting Group forward slash PSYOP, S-I-O-P dash book. And you can buy it on Amazon, iTunes, and get a free download from the website. All of these strategies are going to allow you to be in the position so that you can take advantage of what's to come. Since the Great Depression, there has never been an opportunity like this because your competition is not going to do all of these pieces. They're not going to invest in the technology, invest in the people, look at how do they implement these best practices so they can get it all going. It's not for the faint of heart. So they're going to be saying, okay, when they struggle, you're going to be there to take the volume of your target ideal type customers, 
from them. And you're going to be setting yourself up for decades to come and you're going to be in the top position of your industry or your marketplace. And this opportunity is never going to come along again in our lifetimes anyway, because it's only come along once before during the Great Depression. So I'm excited to see who's going to take advantage of this and who's going to be forward thinking and leapfrog the competition. So stay tuned for supply chain chats and we'll continue to talk about how you can do that.